want to thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour. Right here on Illuminati Radio, I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, show your support, so I bring you more shows to a computer screen near you. Um, hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And uh, this is a special request video from uh, Jordan Griffin. Um, this is for Jordan Griffin. Thank you for the donation, Jordan Griffin. And if you all have any celebrities that you want me to expose or go into and do a video on, or a social media personality you want me to do a video on, that's a small donation of $5. The donation link is in the description box below. All right, Jordan Griffin want to know about the, uh, Dr. Phil and the, um, the ranch. See, you got to understand that Dr. Phil is a prodigy of... Oprah, Dr. Phil is only known, who was Dr. Phil known for coming out? Who, who brought Dr. Phil out? You know what I'm saying? The same person who brought um, Black Rob out. If it wasn't for P. Diddy, Black Rob wouldn't be known, right? He's dead now, but he wouldn't be known if it was for P. Diddy. P. Diddy is responsible for bringing Black Rob out. The same way... Oprah is responsible for bringing Dr. Phil out. So, therefore, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. The witches produce more witches, and the warlocks produce more warlocks. You know what I'm saying? So, when you see these talk show hosts that got these different camps and these different ranches, because, you know, you got the Q&As talking about, Oh, we got to get rid of sex trafficking in Hollywood. Well, if you want to talk about sex trafficking in Hollywood, you want to talk about molestation in Hollywood, a big cover-up is pretending that you are fixing somebody. In, in retrospect, you're just making them worse. Dr. Phil's ranch pretends to fix the people, but and on the outwardly appearance, but on the inwardly appearance, they really making them worse. Dr. Phil's ranch is the same thing that Oprah's schools was. If you guys don't know what Oprah's schools was, you know what I'm saying? Oprah's, Oprah built her schools to do what? The so-called, you know what I'm saying, teach and educate and fix the, the you know what I'm saying, the orphanage children over in Africa. And on the outwardly, you would think that that's good. But what happened to, um, what happened to all of the children that, um, within Oprah schools? All of the elites flocked to the schools to do what? Use them little children for their own entertainment, for their own self-pleasure. So when you see uh, um, ranches like this, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to understand the networks. The network that Dr. Phil is hosting his show on. You have the Dr. Phil show. But if it wasn't for the network hosting the Dr. Phil show, Dr. Phil show would not be even existence, right? So who owns the network that hosts Dr. Phil's show? Is it not a Roman slash Jewish network? Who owns the network that hosts that that hosts um Oprah's show? Well, when Oprah was on prime time, it was a Jewish network. Who hosts the own network? What what network is the own show on? The own broadcast network on? A Jewish network. So in so these are just fronts. You know what I'm saying? These these different uh camps, these different, you know what I'm saying, uh turnaround camps, they just fronts. And guess what? The things that Danielle Bregali and other teenagers came out talking about this ranch, it's more deeper than that. It's things that they don't even know that happened to them, happened to them. Because, see, when you were in these ranches, the, you know what I'm saying, the drugging 
of the different, these little children will erase their memory of whatever happened to them. You see, that's why Bill Cosby did what? Bill Cosby was accused of what? Drugging and raping those women. And we know that Bill Cosby don't have to, didn't, in his time, he didn't have to drug and rape nobody because those women were starstruck. They wanted to get on the show. So they was willing to drop their draws to just anybody who would give them a chance to get on a show. So you don't need to drug somebody that is willing to do something for something. But drugging and drugging is part of the program. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things that happened to Danielle Bregali and a lot of other of the the youths that went to this camp happened to them that you would never know and they would never tell. Because part of going to the Dr. Phil damn turnaround camp or ranch, you also got to sign an NDA. Yes. So, within that the NDA, there's only certain things you can talk about. The things that you hear the youth talking about of, on Dr. Phil's, sh uh, on Dr. Phil, it's only things that is lawful to talk about. But it's things that cannot be talked about. But to answer your question, uh, Mr. Jordan Griffin, this camp is just a front for the insiders in Hollywood. Just, you know what I'm saying, free children, you know what I'm saying, because you best believe these children are being prostituted out to, you know what I'm saying, two different celebrities, you know what I'm saying, two different higher echelon elites, you know what I'm saying, the same way this, the Dr. Phil's camp, you got the Oprah's camp, and so forth and so forth, but, um, Hope that answers your question, Brother Jordan Griffin. Want to thank you all for to uh, thank you for your donation, Jordan Griffin. If you guys have any uh, celebrities that you want me to expose or any social media lights or personalities you want me to do a report on, that's a small donation of five dollars. The donation link is in the description box below. Want to thank you all for tuning in, and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here, on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.